my round number six brush and I'm gonna grab some blonde, some tan, not blonde, and I'm gonna grab a little bit of the golden yellow. And I'm gonna just bring some of this around this ear and see. Bristle brush, and I'm gonna see what I can do here. So what I'm doing is just putting on some layers here of the, I have the, um, the tan, the golden yellow, and the um, rust color that I'm just working with. And I can tell you that I um, just want to let these ears come down. very little paint on my brush and I'm just kind of going at the angle with it to give it different lines. Um, some I don't like <laughs> like that but we can fix it. I'm gonna grab a little bit that's golden and let's do some around in here just little spots. Some of it's really long. <laughs> Just grabbing those three colors that I was talking about, the brown, the I mean the rust, the golden yellow, and the tan. And I'm just mixing them, y'all. angle brush here and I'm going to see if I can um, grab some of this golden yellow and see about pulling some down. So what I'm doing, I've added some water to my um, paint to make it a little smoother running for me and I'm doing just some golden yellow right now and then I can add more colors in there. like the way this is doing better. <laughs> Alright, so same thing with my, um, I didn't add any, um, well, I am going to add a little water to my, some of my tan. I've got yellow and tan on my brush, so. kind of wild don't you? <laughs> now I like those colors and so I'm just gonna come in here with some short lines on my own. I'm not through yet. I know it looks wild. Just grabbing some different colors and just coming in here.
protect my brown just a little bit, I mean my rust, and I'm just going to put a little water with it as well because that seems to get me the flow here that I want. I need to work on one section. My camera, I can't get it to um, do, so I'm going to work on these legs. Uh, I'm at the tan, and I, again, I've just added a little water. And I'm just going to add some golden yellow to it because I really like that lighter color, that yellow to it. And this is where you just kind of got to play with the colors that you're using. Um, I'm playing with the golden and the tan. And it's giving me, I've got a little brown in there, but it's giving me a lot more textures and stuff. And this is just a little bit of the um, tan. <laughs> when I mix the tan and the um, uh, yellow together, this is just one of those colors I get that I really like. Having a little problem getting this angle with this leg. I like that one. I'm just having some problems getting this one to do what I want it to do because it's backwards. <laughs> Let's grab a little bit more of that yellow and tan and get it to, around here. A little with it. But the chest I'm still, um, I like that chest, so we're just trying to come around. I'm just trying to get this idea where the head is here. My little Highland cow is wanting to go crazy here now. I'm going to just grab a little bit of the um, the rust and try to bring it some hairs down here. And I have different, as you can tell, I've got different colors in there, so, yep. All right, let's see what we can do with this face. few of these hairs up around this eye. don't want to cover the eye, I just want to get a few of these hairs in there. Um, I'm going to work right in here if I can and then we'll see. What got. I've got some tan and some rust on my brush. But I think I'm going to have to wet it because I'm finding that um, it flows easier when, as I give it a little moisture on my brush. Because that's what these kind of little calves, cows, calves, mine's so little, he's in a bucket, <laughs> but he's a cow. <laughs> a cow in a, a planted pot. Have you ever seen such? I have not. But that's what the imagination is all about. I'm going to grab my um, liner brush again and I'm going to grab some um, black. Again, I'm just going to add a little water to it to thin it up a little bit. 
and I'm going to come around. Just gonna grab a little white. I well, I have some things coming in here, so I think I love these colors. So I think I'm gonna put a little more um, of their yellow, a golden yellow. I'm just gonna put a few little lines in here. And then I'm gonna grab some of this our tan with this and put a few streaks of tan in here. As I did before, I would take that tan and that yellow mix and get a little lighter color so I can bring another shade in here. I'm going to grab a little rust with that. Okay, the only other thing, um, I'm pretty happy with that, I think. I may put a little more yellow in there. I'm just touching up in the ears a little bit. I want to grab a few of these little tan and just come under here and give him a few little whiskers. Little whisk. You see what I'm doing. I'm just barely taking the tip of my brush and just giving him some little hairs here and there. Just kind of make it blend all in. Now, um, I want to grab a little more of this brown and come in here. Just a few little flicks of it because I'm not, or the rest, I'm sorry. Just a tiny little bit of the yellow and on the tip and just come well went a little bit wider than I wanted to. And I'm trying to bring these strokes down and around. <laughs> so as I come, um and I'll grab some of this tan and a little bit of water. I'm gonna grab some of this tan. Um, I just wipe my brush off. My um, I'm using my angle brush, but as long as it's a flat brush, it's fine. Um, and I'm just all right. I'm gonna grab the rest, and at this point, I'm just coming up and making little flickers, and you'll see why in a little bit. This is just to give me some uh, darker background, and if I need to, I can do it darker. using the rest and I'm just like I said I'm just coming up and I want to try to get this as even here as I can <laughs> and this is basically just covering up what I've done painted over <laughs> but that's okay so I have my number 10 bristle brush that I want to use and I have some emerald green just kind of come in here and start um, laying some green down for some flowers. I mean some leaves. <laughs> so I know I want to come down to about long in here. So we're just going to have to, I'm not, I don't want it all painted. I just want to kind of dot it different ways just so it makes it look like it's some leaves. So this is just going to take a little bit, so I'm not going to talk, I'm just going to paint.
Okay, I'm going to use some um, bright green with this as well. So I'm just going to come in and take my dirty brush and just start tapping some different colors in with this one. grab a little bit of this um, golden yellow and just tap a little bit of that in there with it just see how I like that just to give it some different textures and different colors 